What's up guys, Unis Meta here. So I am just got this little goat guy in the background. Um, I figured we just watch a goat match. Because I kind of just wanted to talk about, you know, goat control. And this format and us playing this format as opposed to other formats. So uh, I want to preface this first off by saying goat is a good format. It is an absolutely amazing format. It is a lot of fun. It's very interactive. It's easy to pick up and play and learn, and you could teach people and get more people into it. It's super easy to get people introduced into GOAT format if they have a background in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, it's a very skill-intensive format, despite there not being a lot of combos or combo memorization or just brute memorization, which is why I think a lot of people like it. Um, we had a lot of issues this weekend. I was able to get one IRL game recorded the whole weekend due to some, a myriad of technical issues and gameplay issues, but Kagan and I, we tried to play Ravine Ruler Mirrors, and we played an absolute, just a ton of games, and a lot of them, besides the one we ended up getting recorded, are just, they're all crazy long, um, like 35 minute games, 30 minute games, um, they're incredibly difficult, and you, they're almost all just absolutely littered with misplays, because it's just a format that you have to be incredibly familiar with you have to that's a mirror you just have to have a ton of practice in for it to even be watchable so for us go control is a very watchable format it's an easily understandable format it has um a large card pool and a small card pool if that kind of makes sense like there are a ton of decks that are documented and you can find resources on it very easily so you can play a ton of different things um but at the same time there's not a ton of cards with crazy walls of text that you have to worry about um so for us playing goat it's really it also it really helps like get people into the channel so if i look at my analytics and i look up what people search when they watch our videos the entire list is is just goat terms like that's what people search when they find the channel so i do want to keep growing the channel but i want to use that channel um to or use those searches and the people who come here for goat to watch other formats and find other formats and play other formats because I know that um, nostalgia plays and I know that a lot of people aren't really super nostalgic for GOAT because they can just get on and play it as opposed to um, playing something like September 2010 or something like that which is a, also a similar format um, in the sense that there's not a ton of crazy like combo decks outside of maybe like Infernity or things like that but there are I don't know, the format is also a lot of fun, and people who are here might have actually played that format in high school or in grade school or something like that 10 years ago, and they're like me in their late 20s, you know, something like that. Um, so it kind of reminds them of that, and that's the stuff that we also want to do. I also want to draw attention to other formats like September 2011. Um, I think, due to some documentation that I was able to find, I think September 2011 is a better format than Go format, and it is a format. So if you are browsing through and you see... In the next coming weeks, a ton of, like, really janky-looking September 2011 decks. Like, why are these existing there? That is also, like, in my opinion, it's the closest thing that we've had to GOAT format. Um, and I really want to draw attention to other formats, and the best way to do that is to get people into the channel. And um, then you guys, talking about other people and things like that and getting a format and getting drawing people to this channel and the random formats that we play or getting your testing friends together and, you know, playing old formats, but specifically GOAT, I mean, Dueling Book has a GOAT section. I'm watching a GOAT duel right now. There's other people watching this GOAT duel right now because it's such a popular format, and I guess I can piggyback off of, oh, that's a good TT. <laughs> I could piggyback off of that, uh, that format and that crowd and that base because, like, this isn't a very competitive channel, and I understand that the GOAT community, a, a, there's a slight disconnect between what we do and what GOAT does. So, in terms of dragons, if you want to see that, that mirror, it's going to be very difficult. I even jokingly introed one of the deleted videos where it's like, get your pitchforks ready in the combat section. Because it's, it's a very, very hard deck to play. So, I have a message catting in today. I was like, dude, if we want to do this, I'm going to play water. Because it's, it's a more fun video. It's not going to be, the match won't be an hour. Like, there's a reason dragon mirrors went into time. But we were playing YSS Sam at tail format. And I think about 75 to 80% of that top cut was just dragons. So there's a reason that that mirror is extremely popular. And it is extremely skill-based and it is very, very difficult. So 
Um, if you do want to see something like that, uh, we'll do our best. So if you did find the channel through the goat videos, uh, welcome. And if you only watch the goat stuff, that's perfectly fine. Like no one's forcing you to um, watch us play April 2014 or something like that. But um, I hope that you do find like another format that we do give the other formats a chance because you know Yu-Gi-Oh at the end of the day is Yu-Gi-Oh and up until a point I think it still retained its original identity so uh, I hope that you continue to enjoy the videos uh, the subscriber count just seems to go up whenever we do goat things and um, if I reach that thousand subscriber mark I can start monetizing videos and monetizing videos means I can buy more cards I don't plan on doing this for any amount of money other than supplementing, being able to do more deck profiles, and being able to build more IRL decks, because I know IRL is more enjoyable for you guys. It's just much more difficult to set up, um, so I want the steady stream of content for you guys to be able to keep watching and things like that. So, yeah, this is kind of a stream of consciousness on Go Control, where the channel is going, all that good stuff. Uh, like and subscribe, retro format content, and um, I really hope you guys have a good one, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.